All right, we're back with uh, episode four, and today we're going over the fitness industry. Um, God, this one's going to really get dirty and nasty. This one's going to be spicy. <laughs> the new fitness industry. I say the new. The new fitness industry. Because okay. it is not. So sorry, the new fitness industry. The new oh. fitness industry. Okay. What is it like? Oh. Explain it to me. It all started in the summer. Late. <laughs> this fucking fitness industry, man. The new one? These kids fucking suck. Yeah. All right. Tell, me, tell, you tell, about me, tell me what you see on Instagram every day. I see tits, ass, <laughs> and pimples. Oh, that's my Explorer page. Oh. Sorry. That's disgusting. What do I see? Well, I, you were on the right track. Tits and ass is what I see all day long. Yeah, but there's a... Th Jesus Christ. There's a new... The, the, the new fitness industry is this, though, too. It's that... It's these kids that are, I would say, possibly, I would say maybe, what, 17? 17 to 20? Yeah. In that range, mm -hmm. right? We all start somewhere. I'm, I'm going to say that. So let's start with a positive. We all start somewhere. Correct. I was very fat when I started. Um, I was naive. I was uneducated. But I did have some type of love for it. I had no Instagram, so I couldn't post anything. But I, so I went to the gym every day for exactly that mm -hmm. and bodybuilding, what I saw on YouTube and the magazines. I had right. magazines. Now these kids know that they can post dumb Instagram posts with videos giving possibly motivation. Hmm. or coaching advice or some type of advice or some dumb fucking flex. Right. Some stupid shit. They have no muscle. Mm -hmm. They're still fat. They don't look like they work out, but yet they have 300,000 followers. Right. Because of edits that are made to make them look better and lighting to make them look better. Now, when you see these people in person, these kids, it's a laughable stock. Yeah. And these companies want them as sponsored athletes to pay these kids that look like a fucking 15 year old girl, but not hot. Mm -hmm. Do you know where that's from? No. Blades of Glory. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. But you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's really it's yeah, uh, it's at the it's, point now. It's fucking it's it's, it's really stupid. It's a little ridiculous. And I say that um, you know, back when Instagram started, right? Uh -huh. When I feel like we were on it, started what like 2010, 11. It got to be popular or something. Maybe a little bit later. Yeah. And at least I looked up to people on Instagram as I was going through my fitness journey, and these people were actually in pretty good shape, right? Yes. So the athletes and the competitors that I followed were in great shape. Um, and I think, you know, and they were idolized. They had a lot of followers, right? Mm -hmm. We, we looked at them, we looked up to them. They were influencers. And now the influencers are 16, 18, 20 year old people, girls, guys, and it's very sexualized. And it's also just, you don't have a great, and I'm talking, we're just talking fitness industry. Yeah. We're not talking just anybody. Um, they don't, they have a very average physique that I think people like because it's more achievable. So I think a lot of people like it for whatever reason, because they're like, Hey, I could actually look like that instead of looking at somebody who's an insane in shape. And that's really not achievable. Right. But like these kids, I believe it's more that they're good at, like you said, lighting, they're good at editing. They're good at fucking Photoshop. They're not actually good at going to the gym and training. And again, because we've yeah. seen people that are influencers that have a lot of followers at the gym, barely training, taking more videos than actually training. And it's like, how are you, how do you have half a million followers, but it's basically because you show your ass. Or, or you just have good editing skills or, or something of that. I mean, but I mean, they, they, they get likes, they get I, followers, yeah, but I, I can't knock them for having a good niche. Right. So which being, is what being very negative, Photoshopping? Well, no, being very negative, <laughs> right. And turning into a positive, 
these kids, I guess, are influencing other kids. Right. But then everyone, you know, everyone does this stupid thing. <laughs> they look no. like with, well, because of I'm your. Like, I'm like the only because, female. I can't do because, it. I actually have traps. Because if you throw your traps up. But it's 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 amazing because all the girls think they have shoulder caps yeah. and they don't. It's it's just well, all it's just these girls fucking... think that they're in shape. And again, like you said, we all start somewhere because right. I was posting pictures when I first started because that's how you start. You're yeah. a trainer. I was trying to get, sure. you know, grow my Instagram, which I did. I'm not saying don't. But, but what the thing is that you don't have any. <laughs> you don't have any experience. Like there's full mass. No, there's nothing to all. fucking call back on, though. Like, what have you done? Right. Well. I also think that, I mean, honestly, like I said, these people have average physiques and I think, I don't know, you would say maybe not our generation, the generation after us. I mean, look, obesity is widely accepted, right? right? You have all these fat people. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess it's- That are making videos. Like they can't fit in the plane. Right. And let's, let's make a video of how we can fit into the plane and show other fat people right. and obese people. I should say obese people, morbidly obese, not just obese, morbidly obese. Um, and that's acceptable. Right. And so that's acceptable in society now. Whereas all, oh, there's a lot of other things that we won't get into that are accepted in society. Maybe we're just but, old. Huh? Maybe we're old. Well, yes. Unfortunately, I think we are getting old, but I think it's just, it's just a very different fitness industry now than what we, yeah. I, I don't want to say grew up in, but what we've done for the past 10 years, what Instagram has been, what bodybuilding expos have been. Yeah, it's, 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 it's no the longer the people that are crazy physiques, which that is bodybuilding. Right. If you don't remember right. bodybuilding, <laughs> but is, that is what it's supposed to be. And all these people now, it's just... But I guess that's, I guess, I guess that's, but I guess that's the deterrent, right? Is the new fitness industry. And then there's the bodybuilding industry. Right. Technically it is two different terms, right? Like Correct. You would yeah. think about that. Um, that's true. And maybe it is just, this is the new fitness industry and it doesn't include bodybuilding. Uh, you know, really. Because bodybuilding is no right. longer that exciting. I don't know. I mean. I think that's where the, I think that's where the cross is though. I think the cross is that we put fitness industry into the bodybuilding industry and that's not the case any longer. It's two different industries. Yeah. The fitness industry to me now is fitness is, could be anything. Fitness is moving, right? Fitness, you know, being, being healthy, being fit. Well, yeah. Sports. So these kids are technically doing healthy things. I think what I get mostly upset about is that now these kids are more, I shouldn't say idolized, but idolized. You know, someone will give, somebody will give a, a, a 18 year old that that's been working out for six months, credit, likes, yeah, bro, fucking yeah, you look awesome. Right. And then they're like, there's a IFBB pro bodybuilder that, you know, maybe doesn't place the top 10 in Olympia, maybe a place after, and they have less likes because, and, and I'm not saying because the, the kid's content's better. I'm just saying physique wise, you'd be like, dude, that's a lot of hard, dude, that's decades. Right, right. Hard work. It's not appreciated. No, it's not appreciated. Well, I think that's I what think, we. Well, yeah. And I think, I think the newer generation and maybe I'll say today's society is everything comes overnight. We have Amazon. Everything comes overnight. Everything comes like that with technology and everyone expects that. Right. So they expect that and they don't understand. I think maybe the new kids don't understand to the extent the time process, the time and the work ethic. And I see it in being an administrator at, at a surgery center too. It's like right. the younger generation doesn't, they don't want to work. They want to come in and they don't, they don't, they don't care. Um, but I think that goes into just their whole generation of maybe we're just bashing the new generation. Maybe that just maybe. this podcast is, but I mean, it's, it, it, I don't know. It's just, it's just very, yeah. it's very weird. It's different. And I had a thought and I just lost it. Well, um, so I would go, to, so we really answered a few, few things here. I would go towards, <laughs> let's do the sponsors. Well, let's yeah. Talk about sponsors. sponsorships. So, so sponsorships, you have athletes and you have ambassadors. Mm-hmm. Athletes get paid salary. Ambassadors don't. Right. A lot of companies are wanting people to be athletes without salaries mm -hmm. and use their following to promote their products. 
ambassadors no longer as, exist. No, 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 no. I would say. I, w- I used to be an ambassador and where I was the unpaid. Correct. Yeah. And I would get some product here and there and I would have a code and there were ambassadors and then there were athletes who were big in the industry who got paid well, I a would, salary. I would actually say that maybe athletes don't exist no more because everybody's an ambassador, but they're called an athlete. Right. 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 Yeah. Because companies, companies don't really don't, want to pay, pay people uh, anymore. No. They want to pay you in just product correct, or like clothing product, yeah. whatever it is that you're sponsored right. with them. Um, and they don't want to pay a salary, whether it's just, they don't have the money for it, or right. they just don't want to pay the marketing that's, you know, right. expense. Um, right. so when we, when we talk about sponsorships, we are sponsored. Correct. Okay. We're sponsored by uprising mid 45. Mm-hmm. Now I brought my water bottle here cause I've been drinking out of that. Right. Mm-hmm. But we have products here and I'm going to kind of get into it real quick because I Go want ahead. to throw them out. Do do your thing. Give me some time. <laughs> okay. Give some to Ty. <laughs> I don't know if Ty will take some cradle. <laughs> but I'll give you one of those. Well, I'm not taking this now. No, don't take it now. But I'm just I'm just going to kind of kind of go over this. There you go. So we have these. Okay. So talking about sponsorships, we have Mid 45 and we have Uprising. We're sponsored by both these companies. Well, so technically together. it's sponsored by Uprising powered by Mid 45. Correct. And this, this company here pays us a salary. Okay. We have, uh, we have calls, um, every, every two weeks about the products. We have calls about what's going on and what the CEO Ryan does is kind of keep us informed of what's going on within the company. Um, Guy Cicinino and Mark are the owners as well to uprising. And, uh, you know, we have an awesome athlete, um, coordinator, Carly. Um, we have a really good team. I mean, mm-hmm. I always joke around saying I'm, I'm the smallest one on the totem pole here because of the athletes we have. Right. Right. We have, t- we have Olympians, we have IFB pros, we have, uh, fighters, we have all sorts of stuff. So mm-hmm. what I'm saying is that going into this, this type of, uh, sponsorship, they pay us, right? They pay us and they don't ask much. It's more organic. We can post, we can say what, you know, I, I, I like boost shots pre-workout because it helps me get through my workout. I feel great. It gives me a little, little pep to my step, you know, um, that's why I love it. Right. You know, the ascend and the descend <sighs> sustained, you know, yeah. go on, uh, you know, oh. it's on the go descend helps me with, with, with this kind of calming down factor, um, before bed. So what I'm trying to say is that with these products, these are real products that we get paid for, but also we use. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know a lot of people will promote products and overly promote products and it looks cringy and they yeah, don't want us to do fake. that. It looks fake. So that's like what the ambassadors do now. Right. You know, well, you're posting every day, every other day, right. You're just posting pictures yeah. like this, you know? And, um, I feel like that's what we used to do back in the day as yeah. ambassadors. And now what people do as athletes, um, I mean, but it's not, it's not very organic, no. right? It's not, it's almost not believable, especially if you've been with multiple, multiple companies. No. Right. And I know like for you, like you like the gummies. I like the mm-hmm. boost shots. These, I love the gummies. These have been, these have been really good for you. Yes. You know, going to work. Yeah. I take, but, I take the uprising ascend a lot during the week right. um, just to keep me, give me sustained energy throughout the day for surgeries. Um, and then I don't have to drink a bunch of caffeine, right. which is great. You know what the funny part is like that people say like, Oh, like, We've heard some stuff like, oh, these are addicting. You know, you don't want to take it. It's addicting. Let me ask you, let me ask you this. The people that are saying that are bodybuilders. They aren't or they, they are. are. A lot yeah. of them are saying they're bodybuilders, right? Or they're in the fitness industry. So number one, there it's 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 as addicting as a energy drink. Right. Or people with their coffee. Right. Or I can't, hey, I can't, don't talk to me in the morning before I have a coffee. How is that not addicting? Right. So I can't talk to you before you have your coffee. Right. So how is this more addicting? It's not. If I don't take this for a week, I don't feel any, I don't feel different. I don't have withdrawals. I don't have. Yeah, you just like it because it makes you feel good. Yeah. Just like. When I don't have caffeine for a week, right. I have withdrawal headaches. Right. So when people are making out this is stuff is addicting. It's it, not any more addicting than anything else that's no, out there. That's it's what really I'm saying. Not. And Mm-mm. for you to make it addicting, that's your personality. Correct. So that's kind of what I want to go on that. But what I was going with the sponsorships, the people nowadays are ambassadors. They don't get paid. They flood the feeds. The companies make a ton of money off of this 
kid. Yeah. And then you have an IFBB pro or a high level athlete that possibly is really good, but they don't even want to pay for you. They don't right. want to pay anything. Well, so. I think, I think honestly, and I'm, I'm just thinking about this now is there's so many people that are good. Like we said, the kids are good with editing. Yeah. And Photoshop and all this, whatever they do. Um, I've gotten better at it. Not Photoshop. I've never done that. But, you know, editing and doing videos. Everyone wants to be Instagram famous. So everyone has put this effort towards yes. doing that. Yeah. So now I companies don't have to pay people because they're like... Pfft. They already know how to do that content. They already know how to do stuff. All we got to do is put, stick them in a sports bra, stick them in with a, you know, water bottle, a shaker cup, protein, whatever. Right. And they're already going to do great content and we don't even have to ask them to do it. Right. You know? So I think, I think that's why a lot of companies too, just don't want to spend the money on it because they're like, look at this free advertising. Instagram is literally free advertising yeah. or, yeah. or TikTok even. Yeah. I'm not on really TikTok but no, I'm, I'm more, I have to, I have a TikTok and you know, I don't understand TikTok. I don't know. I guess that shows my age too. Because I don't understand yeah. TikTok is just I'm like I don't even want I don't have yeah. the time to learn it to try to be good on it. Yeah. Well, um, anyways, I just wanted to kind of go over that because they take care of us and they do. Know, I, I it's wanna, great. These gummies are great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move that. These here. are the three things. Move it out of my way, but I'll keep it in the <laughs> keep it in the post. Okay. So sponsors. Um, let's talk about. Put this here. Too. Natties. I don't, I in the industry. I don't like natties. <laughs> Oh, well, it's not about, it's not about liking natties. Let's, it's talking about fake and not fake. Right. So damn this fucking cup. I'm trying to like, what is trying to, I'm trying to put it, but it, it, I keep fucking it up in the frame. Ty's over there laughing. Cause he sees he kind of keep fucking with it. All right. Okay. Uh, anyways, so, so, so natties are fake natties. Both. Well, when you talk about, <laughs> when you talk about Instagram, right? Like we were saying, okay. Photoshop, yeah. editing like all this extreme stuff i mean there's some app called i think facetune or something that a lot yeah. of girls use you can't even t it doesn't even look like let me tell you something I'm, i want to say this right now if you're if you're a male and you're single i would highly recommend this <laughs> if you ever find a girl on instagram fine if you guys ever want to meet up good i'd recommend going to a pool or the beach and make <laughs> the motherfucker get in the water right so you see what they actually look like? See. It's not just the makeup though. These girls, no. you can't even no, like, what I, filters. No, what I mean by that is you get to see their body. Huh. Man, I sound really vain, right? Get to see the face. Yeah. Well, but then you get to talk to them. Bro. Don't take them to a movie. Everyone wants to go to a movie on the first date. You don't talk to yeah, someone for three hours. And you can't see them. I try to get a hand job. You know what I mean? <laughs> what are you, 15? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, you can't even, you can't even understand, like right. you can't, and it drives me crazy. I'm sorry. And I, I don't use filters on Instagram, but the right. girls that I, some of the girls that I follow, I, I can't, I'm like, dude, who does you in use person. a filter? Guys use filters. Guys use filter too. But like you, I've seen you in person. You don't look yeah, like, don't that. like that. You, you don't look like that. I don't. So it's, it's yeah. that to the Photoshopping and the editing and Goob does a great job mm -hmm. of calling everyone out of that. But, um, also just, I mean, to me, that goes in the same category of lying. You're lying. You yeah. don't look like that. Catfish. Right. Yeah. And so that goes in the same with pretending you're natty. What about fat girls that take pictures like this? <laughs> well, that too. That was back in the day. Well, we all have our good angles. I mean, <sighs> if I, if I talk like this, so I have a beard. Yeah, I know. Lucky for you. Can't cover up my double chin during off season. Well, you could. You can grow a beard. You could do anything nowadays. We're not gonna get up. No. We're not gonna get started on that. Um, but yeah, lying about being natural. Right? People that are natty that aren't natty. Yeah, I feel like that's more acceptable. People are, like what I mean by more well, acceptable, yeah. people are more talking about it nowadays of not being, you know, that take stuff. Um, if you're natty, yeah, that's there's a lot of people that are still like they claim that they're natty. There's a lot of top athletes that still claim they're natty. Well, maybe they don't want to talk about it because they're scared of that. Their sponsorships, some sponsorships. I'm sure some sponsors don't want you to talk yeah. about it. I'm sure that, you know, IFBB, NPC, they probably don't want you talking about it. Right. Um, and I'm sure people. I wouldn't say top pro. I wouldn't say bodybuilder. I'd say more influencers I think they're not. They say that they're natty. Right. Uh, Which again, honestly, I really don't. Influencers, care. you go back to this is the new generation. Yeah, but they, but they're older, older than us. No, they're not. Yeah, some of them are older than us. Oh, people who claim naughty. Yeah, yeah, but those are athletes. If we're thinking of the same people, I mean, I mean, I think of yeah, top more top athletes that yeah, say that yeah. versus 
younger kids that are like, yeah, well, I don't, Natty, I, I, honestly, but, that, there, that doesn't really bother me that much. Cause I really don't care. You can fool whoever you want to fool. You're just, you're, you're just yeah. lying. Well, you can be whoever you want to be right. on Instagram or in life. But I mean, for sure. I mean, let's talk about, talk about my ex. <laughs> No, <laughs> you can be whoever you want to be. You don't want to go down that road. I know, just but that's that's how it is. Just keep on trying. But okay, well, if you don't want to talk about that, what do you want to talk about then with this? <laughs> you don't even know where we are in the paper. <laughs> I printed you out a paper so you could stay on track. Right here, <laughs> <laughs> man. We we already. How oh how long will the new generation last? Oh, there you go. How long? I should start calling you. What was the guy from uh, the roast that everyone made fun of because he was stupid? Gronkowski. <laughs> I'm going to start calling you Gronkowski. <laughs> <laughs> stupid fuck. Um, how long will the new gen last? How long will this shit last? When do you think it really came out? After COVID, right? Oh, shit. Don't put that in there, Ty. Don't want to. Oh, yeah, we got to edit on that. Uh, blast it on that. Band. No, honestly, though, that changed a lot. Because everyone started using, that's when TikTok got really, Yeah, it was 2020. Yeah. And then everyone started doing more and more because they were at home doing nothing. Right. Um, and then everyone was working from home for a very long time. So yeah. everyone was just on social media, on doing Zoom calls, do, doing all that stuff. I think that started more of, hey, let's, yes, let's be able to do stuff at home. Let's work from home. Let's do, you know, do all that stuff. Honestly, I don't think it's going to last very much longer with the way technology is going and AI and all that stuff. There's going to be some new program that's going to come out soon that is going to yeah. take over Instagram and TikTok. There's no, going to be something so new, I, right? I think, I think when you talk about how long will the new generation last, how long will the new generation last doing this within the fitness industry? I think there's eventually, because there are like AI Instagrams that I think will be able to do the promoting and they don't have to pay anyone or give the product. They could just AI it. Yeah. They could create they, an AI They, they make up a person. Correct. And I think that eventually will happen. Do you think anyone in our industry is currently made up? Let's get deep into that. Mm hmm. Think about that. Think about the fake people in Hollywood that they've recreated. Oh, God, here we go. This, this is where we're going to go today, Ty. We're going to get <laughs> hey, shut down. You never know. Listen, we're not going to get shut down. We're going to get killed. We've only had 400 people watch. They haven't gone to the moon. <laughs> the what? Moon landing's fake. Oh, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true, but it's okay. True. So what? <laughs> what? That's just my opinion. There's no facts. <laughs> um, no, but for real, there's, there's going to be, do you, there, there might be a fake person. There might be somebody that no, they've created. No, you, you don't could, think so? No, cause you could tell on the, uh, the IGs you could tell. Cause it, it doesn't like, if you watch someone do whatever they've there's videos I've, I've seen of like girls that are ai but you could slightly tell like just yeah. shit just it's off well the scary part about that is is if they're that close yeah it means they're that close to creating something yeah. that you can't even tell no right we I mean, you can't even tell right now if stuff is fake yeah. or not no i know so but, i mean as far as that i mean that's that's the new fitness industry so uh that's really all I got on that. Cause well, I, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask, what do you think is like, what do you think is the worst influencer trend? What do I think the new influencer? No, the worst influencer trend. Give me so like example. when they had the whole fads going with like the tea, everyone was drinking this tea to lose weight. Like that, that is like, that was a trend. That was an influencer trend that only became... People started buying this, what is, what is it, skinny me tea or some shit that everyone was drinking in order oh. to lose weight. Like, what do you think is like the most annoying or the worst trend that's out there? I mean, I guess you could say Ozempic, but like that's not um, really an influence. I don't think people are influencing to take Ozempic. <laughs> the trend. I don't know if it's even trend. I think it's just what athletes do. What's that? Is it like when they're all, when they're like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they, but like when they, oh shit, when they open up a box and they're like, I've been taking this protein, this whole prep. And I'm like, you just got signed <laughs> with that fucking brand like that. Or I just take these products. I'm like, you're fucking lying. You probably take someone else's protein too. Like, right. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like that's just, I guess that's what you have to do as an athlete. I don't know if that's a trend, but that is like a very like, 
I mean, it's just kind of what you have to do as an athlete yeah. is, you know, show kind of the unboxing. I know, and do I know. That stuff. I, I don't know what type of trend. I was going to say, honestly, what's probably most fucking annoying is these kids that think they have this pump cover and they go to take their shirt off to unreal what they have underneath. <laughs> and there's nothing. And I'm there. just like, that's it. <laughs> it's like, you had it's this like four, a balloon deflating. Yeah. You had this four X fucking shirt on Yeah, and you just take it off. Like you're going to be pumped. Do you see a lot of guys doing that? Because I feel like I see more girls. No, doing I see that. a lot of, I see the problem is I see a lot of girls doing that wearing sweatpants and then fucking just, uh, just so I, but this is what I've, I was going to say, does this make you angry? I fucking hate these motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Got two things that I hate. <laughs> Me chewing gum. No. I'll just think about the two kids that go to our gym. They look like the fucking like Zach Efron twins. No, I think they look like the um they look like the other the Hanson twins. No. I called them something. The guys that are all tattooed with like the, the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they're the worst. So what the dangly I, earrings so this and is, everything. This is what I see. This is what I see. So from the guy's point of view, and it's not because I'm bald. If you have broccoli haircut. The dangling earrings. You're just jealous of their hair. The I am a little bit. Uh, <laughs> like a wife beater. Yeah. And like short shorts. Yeah. And then they're like the guys like, and, and I, I fucking sound, we sound like we're hating on these kids. I'm just, you know, I don't give a fuck no more. I think that's where I'm at. I just don't care. Oh, you fucking hate. I don't care. Yes. I'm hating on these kids because they're fucking worthless. Let's show my legs. Okay. You, you don't no, have any legs. legs. Let's show my abs. Well, you're 150 pounds. You should have abs. Yeah. What else? Let's flex in the mirror. I don't know what you're doing. You're not even nothing. When you flex, nothing well, I think it's, changes. I think it's just the, the, the cockiness of, yes. of the 18 year olds that 16 year olds, maybe even, um, that think that they are the shit. But I mean, you were a 16 year old boy at one point. But so this is what I have to say. When I first got into bodybuilding or when I graduated high school and I had to go to a real gym. I went to this gym that was a very hardcore gym. Yeah. You saw J Debbie Lachesky, right? Yeah. You met her. These, I, I was surrounded by a lot of older bodybuilders, mm -hmm. big fucking dudes. I would go in there with a sweater on. I would never take it off. Right. Like it was kind of one of those things. Like if you took it off, right. you're going to have something fucking underneath it. Out of respect I, for two years, I didn't do anything. Right. So then I started wearing like t-shirts. Right. And you can't say, oh, well, you're, you're like uncomfortable. No, I was just scared of these dudes like to say something to me. And that's how all the young kids like Nick was the same way. Yeah. But Brandon. I feel like, I feel like now it's because Instagram exists. So right. everyone wants to post it online. Everyone wants to show everyone. This is, this is what I look like. This is, they didn't have that back then really. Yeah. Right. When you first got started. So like no. there was no one to show off to except for at the gym. And if you're going to show off, you're like. One of my first pictures was a picture of me on stage. On of Instagram? My, of my first show. Yeah. And then I was, I was, we always, should have sent him before so we could post it. It's okay. <laughs> um, I could show mine. <sighs> my first. <laughs> Last one and we'll move on. Only fans. Yeah. What about it? Uh, I mean, that's a whole topic on its own. I mean, I, <clears throat> yeah. OnlyFans is. I guess. I guess you can go so many ways. I guess it was just. We're just old and salty and washed up. I guess. Yeah. Well, listen. I mean, even if I was younger, I wouldn't be doing only OnlyFans. Uh, it can affect what happens later on in life. Yeah, I don't think the kids understand that either. Yeah, I don't. I don't think anyone understands that. I try to think like back when I was sixteen and eighteen. You know, like did I really understand the implications of my actions at that point? No. So let's think. But like, I also wasn't whoring myself to the online. But let me ask, you know what I'm saying? Let me like, ask everyone this. And I don't know if the, you can, if I went on only fans and I paid for something, right. I paid to go on a subscription program to, mm -hmm. to see someone. Can you take screenshots? Yeah. I would assume so. So your shit's going to be out there no matter what. It's not like this is like lit. You could just take a bunch of screens. I, that's blackmail the fuck out of someone. They just like don't that. care. They want to be empowering women. That's what some of the girls say on that podcast. You know that podcast? Mm -hmm. um, can't think of the guys that, yeah. you know. Yeah, but you know which one I'm talking about. They always bring on a bunch of girls and they're always really, they're all only fans and they're usually what, not the brightest. Because they, they make a lot of money. Right. 
It's because they don't care. They don't, they make, they make all this money and they don't care, but I don't think they have any morals or values. Well, eventually they'll get older. They won't look as good. And then they'll wonder why I can't find a guy, um, is because, well, number one, you're out of range for age and you look old. And then when someone finds that you only do only fans or have done it for a, a decade, you're just washed up fucking yeah it's the same thing i I don't know that's just how i look at it i mean yeah everyone's people right i mean porn stars probably get away from porn and they go on with their lives right probably probably but to know that you got fucking bamboozled railed by fucking hundreds and hundreds i'll be like i'm good i can't i can't it's different i can't give you what you're more accepting now this this generation is more accepting of everything that shouldn't be accepted let's move on i'm tired of this shit (laughs) well that's all we had on this so i guess i guess the question still remains is how long is this new fitness industry going to last uh Probably a couple more years, I would say. <laughs> I'd say five more years. And then something, some new thing, would, some new fad or something will come out. Five more years, you'll be 40. Okay, we'll see. Huh? We'll see. Okay, good talk. Okay, wrap it up. Oh, we're done? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Keep this to a 30-minute conversation. notes, man. Yeah, but bro, this is, look at this. We're done. Uh, yeah. We have another podcast to do. <laughs> okay. Thank you for coming. Enjoy yourself. Use code uh, DT. That's your own from That's it. Thanks. <laughs>